Hello do-it-yourselfers, Terry Peterman, the internet electrician, coming to you from Costa Rica. Now you'd think while I'm here I'd be enjoying the beautiful beaches and the sunshine, but when word gets out that you're an electrician, things change rather quickly. So a friend contacted me about some electrical issues he was having in his home here. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you some of the weird and wonderful electrical installations you'll find in countries outside of the more regulated and controlled countries in the world. So in this three part video series we come across a malfunctioning ceiling fan, we come across a GFCI receptacle that will show you how the sparks can fly, and also a bathroom ceiling fan that has me momentarily confused. So let's get into it. Alright so welcome back. First project we'll take on here in this series of small issues he's been having is this ceiling fan you see up there in the ceiling behind me. Now I asked Mark what happened to start the whole investigation into the ceiling fan issue. He said he turned it on, he could hear it sparking as if the wires were loose and then when you pull the fan or light cords the fan swings. So let's look into this right now. First off we'll start with the wiring and make sure it's all wired okay. All right, so when I checked it out up here, what I found on initial investigation was the ground wire. Wires were not connected to anything. And I found the hot fan wire and the light kit wire hooked to a white, which you would consider to be a neutral, but you never know here. And then we found the neutral connected to what should be a hot wire. It was a red conductor. So I'll give you a close up view of that with my other camera angle. And then we will pull apart all the splices, the ones that aren't already apart, and turn on the switch and do some troubleshooting with the meter. Alright, so I've got my, my iPhone camera up here on the ceiling fan itself and I'm going to give you a 360 degree view of the wiring of this ceiling fan. I've got some splices apart, the splices I described earlier. And you can see this is a pretty typical installation here in Costa Rica where the wires just are coming out of a hole in the wood beam and then the ceiling fan is screwed to the wood beam and connected to those wires coming out. So that's what we're dealing with. I'm going to pull apart the rest of those splices, turn on the switch, use my meter to find out what we got here. All right, I'm not sure if you can see the meter readings, but you'll have to take my word for it. Checking now with the switch on from hot to neutral. I have 118 volts from hot to this what should be the ground wire, nothing from this neutral to what should be the ground wire, 118 volts. So indeed they had it hooked up the way it should have been other than the wire colors are opposite. So we have a looks like a black conductor. This one here for the green is actually a black. It may be green, a little hard to tell. The neutral is actually the hot and the red is actually the neutral. So let's open up that switch box and find out what's going on in there. And we'll fix it if we can. If not, we'll change the wire colors with tape. Well, did I not tell you that things could get interesting? So they have got interesting. When I got up there to check voltages, when I had the fan all disconnected, nothing seemed quite correct. So what I did is pull apart this switch. It's a three-way. There's two of them here. One's for the stairwell. Show you the other side. One's for the stairwell light and one here is for the fan and light. Like I said there is no separate conductors up there for fan and light so it's just fan and light have to be operated by the pull chains and the powers up there depending on the position of the three-way switches. So we have a three-way switch here and let's go look across to the other side of the headboard there. There's the other one beside the headboard. So either one of these switches turns on the fan light combination and then if you just want the fan no light you just have to pull chain off the light switch. The interesting thing here is that I said the hot, the white was hot and what should be the hot appeared to be neutral. That is the case. So going down to the panel, let me show you what we got going on there. Okay, so here is the main breaker of the home. It 
double pole breaker inside that nice little cover plate. And it looks like it's just on a two circuit panel. I can kind of see protruding through the concrete or the Rapeo finished wall here. Now let's look at the panel. So in comes our hot wires up top. Everything's done relatively neatly, but does anybody notice anything peculiar? In most cases, white wires are on the breakers. So throughout this whole home, we have whites being used as the hots. We have a combination of green and black wires hooked to the neutral bus or the ground buses. You can see back there. And we have some black wires connected to hot breakers like that double pole 20 there. Probably an air conditioning unit. So what we have here is a panel and a home that's pretty much wired entirely with the whites being the hots, blacks or greens being neutrals or grounds. What do we do? So interestingly enough then with a scenario like that where you've got all white wires as the hots, blacks as grounds or neutrals and greens being there or not there, the receptacles themselves are actually wired correctly only with the wrong wire colors. So just to make double sure what I have for wires up there, I wasn't even sure that that one wire that wasn't connected was a ground wire. So what I did is I pulled up an extension cord after checking it for the correct polarity and correct wiring plugged into the outlet here, the wall receptacle, drug that up there and made sure I did all my testing with that cord on a ground that I knew was a ground. And sure enough, white is hot, red in this case is neutral because they're using it in this three-way circuit switching the neutrals and there is a ground up there. So I'm just going to do two, one of two things. Fix and rewire the entire home and switch all the colors and wire colors around or I'm going to just identify these as hot and put a note on the panel saying please note white conductors are mostly hot live conductors in this house and I'm going to identify them with tape up there when I make my splices because a good friend once told me there's two levers there's a lever A and there's a lever B and without wiring this whole home again, we're going to leave her be. Okay, moving right along now, I have rehung the ceiling fan. I checked the bracket and the bracket is solid. Screws are tight into the wood, so there's nothing wrong. The swinging that Mark experienced is normal because it's on a swing ball mount on a vaulted ceiling. So that ball is supposed to swing and keep the fan level. That is normal. However, I hooked everything up. The light kit works, the fan does not. So the arcing and sparking mark experienced may be coming from the switch itself for the fan. So we got to go deeper, dig into this a little further. Okay, so troubleshooting the ceiling fan then. The light kit, as I said, worked, but the fan did not. So pulled it apart. There's a problem with the rotary switch, the pull chain switch, and one one capacitor in that little capacitor that runs the whole show for the fan. One of those is reading 2.7 microfarads and should be 5 microfarads. So we've got a problem with the capacitor, problem with the pull chain. They bought a new fan for this place and so we are just going to troubleshoot this fan and maybe get it fixed up later for somebody else to buy second hand and we're going to put the new one up. Okay so what are some of the takeaways from this situation? First off, always turn off the breaker when you're working on electrical circuits. And as you saw, normal wire colors do not apply in this situation. And that could actually happen anywhere, so always shut off the power and make sure you test before you open up some circuits. Oh, and hey, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And in the second video of this series, we're going to work on a GFCI that had my troubleshooting skills put to the test. And hey, you're going to see some sparks fly, so make sure you check that out. You'll see what happens when a hot wire comes into contact with a grounded metal conduit fitting.